Hi, I'm Amanda from Call It Art, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a card with a pop up message. What better way to spread some festive cheer than with one of these creations? What you need is a pair of scissors, some felt tips or pens, a glue stick, and coloured and white paper, depending on what it is you're making. You need at least two sheets of A4. To create your card, you need to choose what colour you want the outside to be and what colour you want the inside to be. Because I'm making a penguin, I want the inside to be white because it can double up on being the penguin's tummy. And the outside, I thought it'd be really nice to do a tree, so I've chosen blue to be a bit like the night sky. So you need to take both your pieces of paper and fold them in half so they look like a card, like so. So now to create your penguin, taking your black piece of paper, putting it over your white piece of paper, you can figure out how big you want to draw your penguin. I've tried to fill the whole page, so I've drawn a bit like an N shape with wings, and then to make it look more penguin-like, draw inside it with another N shape, but a V cut out at the top to give the penguin its distinctive face shape. Cut that out and then stick it on when you're happy with it. Now for the slightly tricky bit. To make the mouth of your penguin, fold your card back in half and you're looking at the outside of the card. Try and cut a slit halfway down, making sure you're not touching any bit of the body of your penguin. This needs to be on the white part of the penguin. Cut a slit which is about two and a half to three centimeters. This doesn't have to be precise. And then once you've done that, you can fold up the pieces of paper from the slit into triangle sh shapes. Fold this both sides just to make it easier to pop it out. You might need to bend it a few times to make it easier to push through. So when you push it through to the other side, you're almost like pinching it to force it through. It might feel like it's not going to work at first, but just keep trying. Now you can cover the beak of the penguin by using some orange paper just to make it more distinguished. So putting the paper on top of the mouth that you've already created, you can measure by bending it to see what size you need. Do this for both bits of the beak, cut it out, fold it in half so it follows the lines of the card and then stick it on. So you've done your penguin's beak, now to give them some eyes. So I'm doing some more cartoon style eyes with a eyelashes just for an added interest. By folding my piece of paper in half means I can get two eyes the same size, so cutting once instead of twice, also quite helpful. Um, to make them a bit kind of manga style, I've also put a little highlight in them. So by folding them to cut a circle out means that it just adds an extra dimension to it. But you can do any eyes you want to do. Before you stick your penguin to the backing card, I've also decided to cut out another piece of paper to put as the background to the penguin's mouth, just for added detail. You could even add in a tongue if you wanted, if you want to go that extra mile. So taking your piece of paper and measuring it out and then using a pen to mark out where the mouth opens, you can just glue it on so that when your card talks, you will see that background. So now to glue your card together, make sure you put on as much glue as possible, just because you don't want your card falling apart. I find it better to do the card in halves, so do one side and then the other side, just because it means your glue is not going to dry out as quickly by doing slightly smaller areas. Just make sure you push it down to smooth it out. Try not to get glue on the inside of the mouth, just because it can make it look a little bit mucky. So now you can start decorating the front of your card. Have a think about what it is you want to put on. So I'm gonna start off by creating some snow landscape and then I'm going to add a tree. So for my tree, I'm sketching it out in felt tip. You can use pencil if you prefer. It doesn't matter that it's felt tip because this is the back of it. Also, by using a piece of scrap paper, there is a slight bit missing from the green, but that's okay because I'm also going to cut out white at the same time to then create some levels of snow afterwards. So if you draw out your tree, put your two pieces of paper together, and cut them out to get the shape of your tree. Then you can go ahead to decide what shape you want for the snow on the branches. After you've glued your snow onto the tree, you can glue the tree to the card and then think about if you want to add anything else. I want to keep the front of my card quite simple. So all I want to add is a star to the top of the tree just to bring in an extra bit of color. 
Once you've drawn your star and cut it out, glue it on. Now back to the inside of the card for the finishing touches. So it's great we have a talking card, but it's even more fun to add an extra pop-up bit. So I am creating some bunting to say Merry Christmas, or Merry Xmas in this case, because the card isn't massive. So taking a piece of paper, which is the length of the card, cut out some triangles, making sure you leave enough at the top so your triangles don't fall apart. This is to create your bunting. Then you can use your felt tips to decorate the letters. And then we're going to attach some other bits of paper to look like string from the bunting. The string will be glued to the penguin's hands and to the back of the bunting, but the bunting is loose and that's what gives the pop-up effect. Just make sure you try and fold it in an appropriate place so it still fits in your card and also fits in an envelope. And there you have it, your very own talking pop-up card. What better way to spread some festive cheer? Have a fantastic and creative crafty Christmas.